So you need to run Mac OS on your Windows computer for some reason, but doing it just straight up with VMware, it's crashing or boot looping or giving you a CPU error. Well, I got all the fixes for that and I'm going to show you how to install Mac OS through VMware Workstation on Windows and take you through the whole thing. So let's get started. So admittedly, the hardest part is just getting VMware right now because it's currently having all the downloads transferred over to Broadcom's website. So you don't actually need to go or want to go to the VMware website at all. I'll put this link in the description down below, but you need to create a Broadcom account, which is free. You just give your email, password, and some other info. And then you need to basically come over here and go to, it's not there. Oh, you come up here and you go to VMware Cloud Foundation. Click that brings you over to this and you see all this stuff over here. So what you basically need to do is go to my downloads. And this was very stupid, difficult to figure out. Um, I hope they make it easier in the future, but just search like workstation workstation is what I'm using. And you can go to workstation pro or workstation player workstation pro is free for personal use. And then you want to just go to the personal use Windows one, click the newest version. You need to put in some personal information on this page, which is something I'm not going to do during a video. But you basically have a little checkbox. Since I already downloaded this, I can't do it again. You get a little checkbox right here that says, I agree to the terms and conditions. You click the little cloud and then they ask you for your shipping information, your personal address. I don't know why. I just put in BS information and it still brought me back to the download just fine. You just need to make sure that it's a legitimate address because it can actually detect, uh, at least for me, it detected that I used a fake address. So what you do from there is you just download this and it downloads the EXE to install VMware Workstation. You don't need a product key. You don't need any of that kind of stuff for VMware Pro. There is a personal use option. So just download it, install it, and you're good to go. Next up, what you're gonna need is this unlocker, which I will put links in the description and all that, as well as the first comment. You need this unlocker because this unlocker allows you to use VMware on a Windows computer. So you basically just want to come over to this URL, which again, in the description, download this release, put it in a folder somewhere, and you're good to go. Now, I have everything set up on a folder over here. Or you can just see like my VMware, I got a setup folder, there's my Ventura ISO that doesn't work yet, so don't try Ventura yet. Um, but I have my VM unlocker, which is right here, and I have like serial keys if I need them. I was trying to make an Android VM uh, to make a video about, but it just doesn't work. So the other thing is with VM unlocker, what you do is after you install the entire uh, VMware workstation, you basically download this, extract it to a folder out of the zip file, and there is a WinCMD install thing. So you right click this, you wanna run it as admin. And I realized I already ran it, so I actually didn't need it. That's why it's giving an error. But I'm still gonna just, it's because it's already running. I should be fine. I didn't mean to click yes on my uh, admin prompt there. It was just habit. But anyway, so everything downloads, it patches VMware. And then what you can do, come on, okay, close it. You need to basically create your new virtual machine. So you create your new machine. <clears throat> you wanna point it at whatever ISO you're gonna use. I'm using Big Sur, click next. You want to make sure that Mac OS X is here and that you select the proper version in this little like drop down. So I'm doing Mac OS 11. It's Big Sur. You can go all the way up to 14. I tried Mac OS. I tried Venture and it didn't work very well for some reason. So it didn't even it got stuck in a boot loop. So I just couldn't install it. I couldn't run it. But run your Mac OS X and you're good to go. I yawned like mid-sentence. That was weird. If you do not have Apple Mac OS X here, that means you ran your patcher incorrectly or you didn't run it as admin or something like that. But once you do that, just click next. Select where you want it to be. 
as far as like the information for where you want it installed. And then it'll take you to the next screen, which is for like hardware suggestions, stuff like that, how much storage space you want. I put 120 gigs just to be safe, four gigs of RAM with four processing cores, and I'll just show you the settings here. Four gigs of RAM, four processing cores, 120 gigs of storage. You want to point at your Big Sur uh, ISO, networking, whatever, sound card, whatever. Enable your accelerated 3D graphics or you're going to have a bad time. Trust me, you're going to have a bad time. And there you go. Now what you want to do is just play. Weird. I don't know why it asked me for admin right there, but whatever. We're basically going to go through and it's going to boot to the installer. The installer for macOS is incredibly simple, but for those of you who have never installed macOS before, I'll at least go through how it works and explain how to format properly for the disk, uh, your emulated disk drive and all that nonsense. So once this pops back up, I will come and help you guys out. All right, here we are. You need to select uh, language. Go next. Examining your volumes. Now, this is where a lot of people get confused if it's their first time installing Mac OS on a computer. You want to go disk utility first. This is basically like your tech check disk on Windows. And you want to select the VM virtual not a hard disk and you want to go erase. Now I like to just name it Mac OS simple. APFS is usually just your best case scenario. Just use it really. You could go like XFAD if you really want to worry about it, but I would just stick with Apple's proprietary because it works better. Click erase and it created your partition. So this is why I like the Windows one more because you just go through the steps and it makes you do it as a step. It's not an it's not a secondary thing right here. And then you just go install. Now it's going to hang after the first continue. Don't worry, it isn't frozen. Sometimes it hangs. I guess it didn't this time. Sometimes it hangs. And now we're going to continue and install. And that 15 minutes is a lie. That's Apple time, as we like to call it. Uh, expect that 15 minutes to probably be 30, 30 to an hour. If you want to also consider the initial reboot, so 30 minutes to an hour, this should be done. I'm going to let it sit on my spare monitor real quick, and I'm going to pause the recording and go do some other stuff that I need to do. Wow. Did that take a while, but this one actually booted unlike using, uh, Mac OS. 15. So you want to go through, obviously select United States if you're in the USA or select whatever country you're in. You want to just leave this as it is or change it. You know, I'm not your dad. Not now. Obviously, I don't need to enable any of the accessibility. It is going to be a little bit laggy at first, but again, you're emulating a whole nother operating system, basically. So it's going to be kind of a pain in the butt for a moment. You want to click not now. I'm not migrating anything. I'm not setting up iTunes or an Apple ID. So I can skip all this. Sign your rights away. To ever having to deal with anything. I will go owner. Owner. And then I think it forces a password. I just do one, two, three, four, five, six for MacBooks or anything Apple. Where's my mouse? This is not working happy, but that's also because I'll show you guys in a second what you have to do. So continue. This part takes a fat second. It's creating your user profile, basically a whole user partition. Continue. I don't care about any of that. Continue. I ain't sending shit. Uh, <laughs> I'm tired. I'm sorry. I don't need Siri. He's kind of a jerk. And that's basically your full setup. I like dark mode. Anybody who uses light mode is a heathen. Come on, change. This is terribly laggy. I hope you really have a good computer because that'll make this a lot better. <laughs> there we go. It's starting to work. Give it a second. Once we're to the desktop, I'll show you guys exactly what you have to do. 
So we have our finder and everything set up. We're going to go install tools. Uh, we're not going to go install tools. We're going to actually eject this disk. And now we can go install VMware tools. There we go. So this just takes a second. Gotta let it basically load up. And there you go. So we're gonna double click install VMware tools. This should help a little bit with some of the lag because it basically just needs to install VMware drivers and some of the functionality of VMware. And just overall, little things that help make the VM a little bit better. Continue, install, it's just gonna install. It'll ask you to restart in a moment. We just gotta give it a second. This, sometimes this takes a while, sometimes it doesn't. It just kinda depends. Right now it's just preparing, so I'll come back when this is done. Once it gets to a certain point, you do got to put in your password. For me, one, two, three, four, five, six. This will do the running packages and run the scripts, and now it will officially install all that stuff. If it says something was blocked, you just open security preferences. Come on. Oh, my freaking crap. Okay. Click the little lock button. One, two, three, four, five, six. Allow it. Start. Try again. Try again. There we go. So once it restarts, we'll just try rerunning that installer again. Sometimes it does that, sometimes it doesn't. So give it one second. Once it's booted back up, I'll come back. All right, we're back. And that is the most... Freedom logo I have ever seen for a user profile. Get that bald eagle rolling. That's entirely random. I didn't select that, by the way. Uh, Apple just deciding to spread some freedom today. Oh, it disappeared. I guess I got to remount it. Update VMware tools, because I feel like it didn't actually do it very well or install it. So we're going to reinstall these tools. It is going a little bit better now. All right, come on, let's do it. Install, one, two, three, four, five, six. I don't know why I'm suddenly country. One, two, three, four, five, six. You can tell how long it's taken for me to record this video because you can just hear the mental sanity just disappearing. I didn't want to make this video, but there's a lot of dislikes on that other video, so I figured I should probably make a video on this subject and show somebody how to do it from start to finish because there's not many good videos out there. <laughs> so now it's running fine. We're going to restart again. Uh, control Alt to get my mouse back. All right, I'm back again. Back with my bald eagle of freedom. We're going to log in again. Everything should just work from here on out. It should be a full Mac OS uh, situation. <laughs> uh, here you can see you've got a Mac Pro. Uh, yeah. And it's working okay. It's working okay. 128 memory slots. <laughs> okay. Wow. <laughs> that's grand. Anyway, that's pretty much installing Mac OS on a VM, and you're good to go. So, I don't think there's anything else to show you guys. I guess just to wrap it up, create your VM, go into your VM settings. Uh, sorry, that's for work. Don't, don't look at that. Don't look at that. Don't look at that. Um, go into your settings, go to the VMX file, add your little code at the bottom, which it actually moved. Oh, it put new stuff in here. Okay. Well, make sure you put your little code in here and then you're fine. And then boot it up, install, and you're good to go. Hope you guys learned something. 
Uh, peace out. This was a pain in the butt. I've had to record this three times. <laughs>